Hey everyone, this is Unlock24 and before we go any further, I want to remind you to keep your phone vertical and, and click that full screen icon on the bottom right. Uh, now today, uh, I was actually really excited to make this deck and uh, uh, let me go ahead and show you, let, right, let's get right to the point and then uh, towards the end of the video we'll go uh, into the new cards that uh, the card trader has. But uh, anyway, this deck is, uh, like I said, it's actually, I'm not going to say it's ridiculously good, but it's, it, it is good. And it can actually make uh, OTKs out of nowhere. The deck, uh, let me go ahead and go through the, <laughs> the deck list and then we'll talk about it. So we're running three Vampire Lords, three Gosukis, a uh, one Ill Blood. And uh, at the beginning I was playing two, but then uh, after testing a bit, uh, I dropped it down to one. Uh, three Skull Conductors, two Goblin Zombies, uh, three Enemy Controllers. To escape from the dark dimension, and uh, to start with, I started off with a. Uh, it was another trap card that allows you to do uh, normal summon a monster from the graveyard, and like it, I think you normal summon it in defense mode. I think, uh, and um, it's a normal monster only. But I changed it to the uh, escape from the dark dimension, and then uh, three mirror walls. So overall, the deck is it works really really well. However, um, I think to where it's at, it's missing cards that can special summon cards from the graveyard. Uh, it's missing Call of the Hunted, it's missing maybe Monster Reborns, or uh, uh, maybe even it's miss. Uh, I think it's missing a Zombie Master. And I think the, the best way to play the Zombie deck is with the Red Eyes uh, version, because uh, it does have like three spirits and it does have the insights. However, I don't have the spirits or the insights, so I can't really run that deck. And uh, that's why I made this version instead. So uh, the only thing that uh, I guess that the, the deck lacks is if you're playing against a phoenix deck and if you don't happen to get an enemy controller or a mirror wall or uh, if your opponent knows exactly what he's doing most of the time you'll lose because you don't have anything that's over 24 attack so uh, that's kind of one of the big drawbacks and it kind of what makes the deck stay in low tier uh, i'm not gonna say that's like a huge like a really really high end top tier because it's not and the replays that i'm gonna show you are actually in casual because uh, I don't think I have the confidence yet to uh, take this to a uh, a rank game because I, I, I think uh, or I most likely know that I, I'm going to lose with it. So basically one of the big combos that it has is you summon Gosuki, you activate the effect, you send the ill blood uh, and then if your opponent has a monster that's at like 18 or 19 or 2000 you most of the time will win that same turn. So what you do is you enemy controller that Gosuki. Gosuki will go to the graveyard, it'll trigger, you activate Gosuki's effect, and you summon a Vampire Lord from your gra from your hand, and then the ill blood is removed at that time, and you have the opponent's monster. And then after that, you can go ahead and activate Escape from Dark Dimension and attack for game to get the, back the, uh, the ill blood, or you can uh, spend a couple turns and try and set it up to where you can have uh, ill blood endlessly recycle uh, all of your Sami monsters, and you don't really, really need uh, any... Uh, more ill bloods than what I'm playing here and there's just one because you can get them that's uh, from removed you can get them basically from anywhere uh, and um, the goblin zombies are really good they can search basically for everything and for the skill you can pl play restart or um, maybe uh, even balance I'm just using dross and earth because I'm I'm just uh, giving it a try and I'm trying it out because Gosuki's in earth and it's the only uh, Earth monster that I'm running, so uh, I, whenever I activate, I can get a Gosuki uh, immediately and then try to do one of the combos that I just mentioned. Um, there's another uh, way to OTK also is if you get like three Skull Conductors or even two, you can activate Skull Conductors, summon a Vampire Lord, and then summon another Skull Conductor, and that's already game. So if your opponent uh, ends up with like not as many uh, defensive cards, you most of the time will win in a single turn. Uh, and let me go ahead and show you the replays. All right, so and after playing the the deck, you know, I was really really hyped about it, and then it kind of just it turned out it kind of mellowed out, because I mean the deck is it's good if your opponent doesn't have a defense, but if he does, it's it's not as good because you waste a ton of resources, and Goblin Zombie isn't uh, enough for you to make up those resources. And then Skull Conductor doesn't help either because it just gives you a minus one whenever you activate the effect. Mm. 
Alright, so go ahead, activate Draw Sensor, get the Gosuke, Gosuke, activate effect, send a vampire, tribute the uh, the Gosuke, take control, activate Gosuke's effect, remove a vampire lord, uh, summon no blood. Okay, and then I go ahead and activate Escape of, uh, from Dark Dimension. Uh, yeah, Escape from Dark Dimension. Uh, and if he didn't have a Windstorm, uh, it would have been an OTK, but he did have a Windstorm, so uh, there was really nothing I could do. And here he messes up, I think. Uh, he should have attacked the the Earl Blood, so I wouldn't second summon him, but he, he didn't, and I think that <laughs> that was his mistake. And that, that was uh, a mistake of mine, too, that I didn't put the Earl Blood in attack mode, which uh, it ended up working out anyways, because I did have another escape, and uh, so I can just get him back. And then Gosuke activate the Blood's effect, get Gosuke again, activate effect, send the conductor. And here's an, uh, another enemy controller. And here I can just attack for game because he paid 2000 for the for the mirror wall, I think. So basically the deck can just uh, tur I, like, turned out OTKs out of nowhere and like the... Uh, one of the things or my e earlier versions was that I wasn't running mirror wall. I can't remember what I was running but we'll see it here in the, the very last replay. And like I said, the deck suffers from uh, not having a monster with a high attack. Uh, I, I was trying it with a vampire, what is it, vampire lord, I think, not, not a vampire genesis. But uh, it wasn't uh, as consistent and vampire genesis was, uh, every now and then, was dead in the hand, so I took it out. So I, I think what the, like, the next step for the deck would be to just try to get all the, the red eyes, uh, all the red eye support, so you can go ahead and just run a straight up red eye zombie deck. And uh, I'm pretty sure that'll be way, way faster. Uh, the the creeper was painful, but I did have a uh, an escape, and I tried to bring back the uh, the the vampire lord and attack direct. Uh, where it's, uh, like, just go ahead and uh, destroy them both, but unfortunately it didn't happen. And here he rushes, which uh, I'm gonna, whenever your opponent rushes, you can just get a free summon from the Vampire Lord because he summons it, uh, himself back. Uh, and that was a misplay. I was trying to get the, I think it was a, the Gosuke in the Great but I accidentally misclick on the conductor. And it, w it wasn't an intentional thing, it, it was just uh, a random misclick on, on that. And that guy just had all the <laughs> all the mirror walls, but <laughs> I did activate Gosuki, but he uh, he surrendered. I, I don't know why it says on the on the replace failed, but uh, when we were playing it, uh, he surrendered because the Gosuki's effect would have uh, popped up, and I would have gotten a, uh, another monster. It would have been way over two thousand. Alright, so I set set because uh, I didn't want him to know what I was playing and he does the same thing. And then I decided to go ahead and activate like, Gosuki for the uh, Incendio Blood. Um, he did uh, remove my Gosuki which was super unfortunate for me. Uh, he's playing uh, ninjas. And here he attacked, I think I uh, enemy controlled it. Or, or no, he didn't attack. And I don't know why he didn't attack and I hacked got him some respect for the conductor. I uh, sent the conductor for the... Alright, tribute and then send the connect for the vampire lord and then attack for game. So that's exactly 4000 damage. And uh, enemy control just does a ton of work in this deck. And uh, like I said, if you're running the uh, the Red Eyes version, uh, I bet the, the deck is completely insane. Because it just it has a ton of synergy with, uh, with Gosuki. 
and uh, hopefully there uh, there'll be uh, another super joy so I can try to maybe get another um, I think I only have like two spirits uh, and I don't have a single insight because uh, I wasn't lucky enough to get it um, and I did farm Joey I think every single time at seven to eight thousand assessment I still didn't get anything Alright, if uh, there's uh, another OTK, uh, but unfortunately uh, he had enemy controller, and he uh, he had two enemy controllers, and he was able to survive. But if he didn't have any defensive cards, uh, that would have been OTK, and then he didn't draw anything, so he surrendered. Alright, I think this is uh, the last replay. So he does have your ship, and I did set a uh, a Gamma Zombie and that off. And then uh, uh, here, I think I should have attacked into the the Yomi ship so I can go ahead and uh, uh, and get the Vampire Lord destroyed, and uh, I would have gotten it back. But it turned out that he had a uh, I'm just serious. So it, it was basically the same thing. And uh, here I, I was running a monster again. The monster gate, um it was, in theory, it was good because you could tribute out the, the Gusuki and then activate his effect. But uh, uh, it never came up and, and whenever I did have it, I didn't want to tribute the Gusuki. So uh, I ended up taking it out and here he surrendered because he didn't have anything else. But uh, anyway, that's it for the for that deck. And let me just show it to you once again just in case you, you want to take a look at it. Um, and then uh, we'll talk about the, the new cards that they added for the card trader. Alright, there it is. Three Vampire Lords, three Osukis, one Ill Blood, uh, three Skull Conductors, two Goblin Zombies, three Enemy Controllers, two Escape from the Dark Dimension, and three Mirrorwell. With Drossen's Earth to get the, the Gosuki. Uh, if you want a more consistent version, just run uh, Restart or Balance, I'm guessing. Balance should work as, just as well. But uh, just run Restart, in my opinion. Uh, and then. Let's get to the new cards that they added for the card trader. Uh, where is it at? Okay, card trader inventory update. So they added Doom Shaman, and uh, this Shaman is basically a no blood for fiends. Uh, in real life, it didn't really see much uh, gameplay. Uh, there is an OTK that you can uh, do with Doom Shaman, and uh, you can do the same OTK with uh, with Ill Blood, whereas you can just keep recycling them both with a uh, what is it? Uh, super alloy boost Raptinius, I think. And what you do is you'll get a Doom Shaman, get a second Doom Shaman, or a No Blood. Uh, the Old Blood works the, the same thing. You tribute one of them for with like a mass driver, or maybe uh, what well, you can't do a, uh, a cannon soldier in this version because you only have a, sp uh, a space for three monsters. But if we get mass driver, it'll be an OTK uh, or an FTK also because you can just uh, tribute one of. I would then use the other one's effect to get him back, cue that one off, and then just continue on a loop. Uh, but other than that, the I don't think for now it's not really going to do anything because it's another high level monster and we already have a lot of uh, high level fiends. Uh, so maybe uh, unless you play like a dedicated Ill Blood and Doom Shaman deck with like Super Vice or something, it's really not going to do any good. And I don't think you should be wasting the, the SR jewels on it. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get some just to show you. I mean, it's not gonna be anything game breaking or anything, but uh, <laughs> if you want to get it, go ahead and get it. Um, the next one, Featherizer. When this card is destroyed by a battle and sent to the graveyard, you can send one Gemini monster from your deck to the graveyard and draw one card. Uh, it's a decent card, it's uh, but I think it's too slow for the meta. Uh, monsters are summoned way too fast, and then uh, sending a monster to the graveyard isn't that great, even if it's a Gemini. Uh, maybe we send a, a, a new blood and maybe make a uh, just a straight up ill blood deck with some Gosukis, but it'll be going 
Um, it'll be doing way too much for it not to uh, not as big of a payoff as you would think. So, uh, Feather Riser, it's decent. Uh, where are thou, if you control a face up level 1 monster, add one level 1 monster from your deck to your hand. Then again, face up this turn, take down damage if you did not normal summon the added monster or a card with the same name after activation of this, uh, of this card. So, I mean, there might be some broken ways to use it. I'm not entirely sure. Um, there's really, I don't think there's that many level 1 monsters out there. Uh, I'd have to check, but maybe in the future it'll be to where uh, maybe you can do something broken with it. But for now, I, I, I don't see it doing anything. I don't think in, uh, in the actual trading card game it did anything. So uh, maybe skip it for now and just wait and see if anyone uh, uses it or if uh, there's other support for it. But uh, other than that, really not, not that great. Uh, Magic Deflector for the rest of this turn to get all the crypt. Field continuous and equip play spell cards. Uh, uh, a quick play spell card effects on the field. So basically, it shuts down um, uh, Toon Kingdom, which is I think the biggest problem that there is right now with um, uh, with field spells. There's uh, maybe even uh, Super Rush Headlong also and some enemy controllers. But I don't see that many people that are gonna play this. So you'll you'll maybe encounter. Uh, one or two that are played, but other than that, it's not gonna see that much gameplay. Uh, you might want to check it out, maybe in twos uh, to try to counter the the super rush headlines and the enemy controls. But other than that, uh, not game breaking. Uh, and they are removing a ton of cards. So I think <clears throat> they're removing <clears throat> Gemini Scorpion, Willen Archer, Lucky Pied Piper, Legendary Flame Lord. Actually, I think I need to get a couple of Legendary Flame uh, Flame Lords, and I've been waiting for them for like over two weeks and I haven't seen a single copy of it. I already got the the ritual spell but I can't get the actual uh, the flame lord so uh, I think you only need one pot of Dukatomy if you ever run it so if you don't have one I do highly suggest that you do get at least one because uh, <laughs> eventually it will be good whenever there's uh, uh, they release more cards so uh, do get a pot of Dukatomy. Drawing cards is always good uh, Gust Run, not that great. Elves Light, Silver Bow and Arrow, Delta Attacker. Delta Attacker is uh, decent with pajamas, but other than that, not, not great. Uh, Incandescent Ordeal, that's the ritual for the Flame Lord. Super Double Summon, if you run Gemini's, get that. Malfunction, uh, I don't know, my Malfunction is. Uh, I don't know, I, I didn't even get a single copy because it's basically useless. It says pay 400 life points to get the activation of a trap card and return it to its original position. Um, there's better cards out there. Trap Jammer. Uh, what is it? Uh, the other, There's several cards that you can use instead of Malfunction. Uh, and then Gemini Counter. <coughs> Change one face up. Gemini Monster Control. Face in the first position. And the, get the activation of a point of spell card and destroy it. So, uh, if you don't have any of those, I, I would highly suggest that <coughs> you get, uh, get them. Uh, or you need to get at least the Gemini Scorpion, the Archer, uh, the Flame Lord, maybe, uh, Dukatomy, uh, and the Ordeal. And maybe that Super Double Summon, but that's about it. Uh, but anyways, I think that's going to be uh, that's gonna be it for today. Let's see if we can open uh, one pack and see if we get lucky. And I think I've got everything from... Well, I don't have everything from the other packs, but I really... Let's see if we get lucky with one pack, which I highly doubt. Nope. Or maybe we are. True Dragon. <laughs> anyway, so nothing good out of that. Uh, but anyway, that's going to be it for today. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like. Uh, if you do enjoy my content, I'd highly appreciate it if you subscribe. Uh, and if you dislike it, go ahead and leave a dislike. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow.